Hello and welcome to your weekend Bible inspiration. We thank the Lord God so much that we are still alive, that we can still move and live and have our being in Him. It is all by the grace of God that we are okay in Him. We pray that the Spirit of God will lead us today too through His Word. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. People of God will continue with a series on the results of a, of a gentle answer. The results of a gentle answer. And as our anchor scripture for the series, we will still read Proverbs 15, yes, 1 to 4. Let's hear the word of God. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempest flare. The tongue of the wise makes knowledge appealing, but the mouth of a fool belches out foolishness. The Lord is wait is watching everywhere, keeping his eye on both the evil and the good. Gentle words are a tree of life, a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Hallelujah. And so we've learned so far that it is very, very important to control the tongue. It is very important to meditate or think about what we are about to say, what we say before we speak out. And we've seen that we always have to rely on the Holy Spirit to lead us in whatever we say. Hallelujah. Today we'll add another verse that is James chapter 3, the verses 3 to Three to six. Hallelujah. Let's hear the word of God. We can make a large horse go wherever we want by means of a small bit in its mouth. And a small rudder makes a huge ship turn wherever the pilot chooses to go. Even though the winds, the winds are strong. In the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches. But a tiny spark can set a great forest on fire. And among all the parts of the body, the tongue is a flame of fire. It is a whole world of wickedness, corrupting your entire body. It can set your whole life on fire, for it is a set on fire for it is set on fire by hell itself. Hallelujah. We see here, okay, we'll continue a bit. People can tame all kinds of animals. That is from verse 7 onwards. Reptiles and fish. But no one can tame the tongue. It is restless and evil. Full of deadly poison. Sometimes it praises our Lord and Father. And sometimes it curses those who have been made in the image of God. And so blessing and cursing come pouring out of the same mouth. Surely, my brothers and sisters, this is not right. Does a spring of water bubble out with both fresh water and bitter water? Does a fig tree produce olives or a grapevine produce figs? No. And you can't draw fresh water from a salty spring. Hallelujah. Brethren, this means that as children of God, we have a, let, a, a lot to learn from our Lord Jesus Christ. Because it is true that many things come out of our, ma our mouth. We use the same mouth to praise God. And we use the same mouth to curse people. And the Bible is saying that people who have been created in the image of God. Yes, there are situations that can lead you even to curse. But brethren in the Lord, today the word of God is telling us that we should be careful about the tongue. That is why I believe in the fruits of the Spirit we have self-control. We need the Holy Spirit to help us to control our tongue. Oh, precious Holy Spirit, help us so that whatever comes out of our mouth, oh God, 
will give good results. It will give gentle answers. If we give gentle responses, if we think about the things we have to say before we say them, we'll always end in victory. We'll always end talking about you to people. We'll always let end letting people who you are. We pray for self-control, O oh God. Father, we pray for self-control for our mouth. Yes. We are still Christians, but have a lot of weaknesses. There are many who cannot keep their mouth shut. They always have to find something to say. And in the end, it leads to destruction. Hmm. This topic is really, really speaking to me because... As Christians, there are so many, as a Christian, there are so many things that comes out of my mouth, especially when I'm being provoked. Yes, these days we have children who are so difficult to handle. Every parent who is who is raising a child, not just a child, the person may be a teenager. The person may be an adolescent. The person may be even an adult. May the Lord have mercy on us and direct us the way we should live our lives. There are people who have been provoked by their wives or their husbands. The Bible says that no one can, can tame the tongue. It means we cannot use any power of us to tame this tongue. But... If only we will submit to the control of the Spirit of God and tell the Spirit of God, tell the Holy Spirit that, Holy Spirit, please take control over my tongue so that whatever comes out of my mouth will please you. If we, com we commit our tongue into the care of the Holy Spirit, definitely He will take control and then show us what to do. There are people who have so many bitter experiences. But we pray that the Lord himself will help us and see us through. Today many lovers have become haters. The same people when they recall when they met. You see that there were, there were days of joy and happiness. But what at all happened that today. They have become enemies. May the Lord help his people, especially the married, especially parents who are raising children, to allow the Holy Spirit to teach us what to do at the right time. To be people who are patient enough, who have long suffering that can take us through that will not flare up easily. That will not speak harsh words that will flare up fights here and there. May the Lord help us to remain as gentle as he is. That we will take his yoke upon us. May the Lord lift this burden from us and give us his yoke. May we be established in the vineyard of, of the Lord in such a way that we'll always be busy for the Lord instead of deviating from our calling. Precious Holy Spirit, this is a humble prayer that you help us to overcome anger. Because when we are angry, it leads us to so many things. And in case, as the Bible says, if anyone is angry, make sure that the sun will not come upon your anger. Meaning that we should find it easy to forgive. Lord, help us. Help us. Help us in this weakness. Help us to overcome. Oh God. Using our tongue in ways that will flare up arguments. The result of a gentle answer. It's to bring peace, harmony, 
into the family. We thank you, Lord, and we say may your name alone be exalted. Enjoy this weekend, even as we wait and meditate on the word of God. God richly bless you and have a fruitful weekend. Bye-bye. See you next week too. Bye.